Miley Cyrus is firing back after a controversial kiss during her performance on the show Britain's Got Talent. Now, the Disney star is a sexy new image, and if that's not enough, she's locking lips on stage with a female dancer. Well, here we go. Let's uh, let you look at it yourself. Here's the moment from YouTube. Let's watch and listen. I'm not here to sell you. I'll tell you to go to hell. Well, there we go. And she's got the outfit work and everything. She's dressed provocatively, moving suggestively. You know the song, I Can't Be Tamed. Well, the 17-year-old talked to the BBC about the negative comments circulating online. Here's part of what she said. I think they're closed-minded people, and they do not understand art. Give me a break. Join me to talk about this. Renee Seiler, author of Good Enough Mother. You can read more of her thoughts always at uh, uh, mother, goodenoughmother.com. And also with us. Jen Hobby, co-host of the Burt Radio Show on Q100 in Atlanta. She had a chance to interview Miley Cyrus talking about this transformation. So we'll talk about that. Renee, I'll start with you. And I, let me say this. I get it. She's 17. 17-year-old uh, girl is growing up. It's going to be a little more sexy. But why do we have to go from Hannah Montana yeah, to right. slutty <laughs> and do not pass go? I mean, it's so quick with her. I have to agree with you. Um, I was very concerned that I understand trying to shed the Disney image. I get that. And I also understand that she's trying to grow on a personal level as well as a professional level. But you're right. We don't need to go from zero to 155 in 2.2 seconds. I think there are some intermediate stops along the way. And it might behoove her to slow down and take some of those stops. Real quick, Renee, and I'll get uh, uh, Jane in. Your thoughts on the performance that we saw? You know what? There, I don't know if you saw at the very beginning, there was also a guy, a dancer, who touched her breast and she pushed him away. Yeah. And then there was this and the, her with the holes and the fishnet stockings and the gyrating and on and on and on. It, you know, I mean, it was kind of shocking. Yeah, uh, agreed. Uh, Jen, your thoughts on the performance first off, then we'll get into more of your interview. I, I don't think that Miley Cyrus makes any excuses no. for becoming a, a woman from a teenager. You know, she's made it very clear with this Can't Be Tamed song and album that she is ready to be a woman. She is no longer a teenager. And I think this performance is provocative on purpose. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So a planned attack or a planned, uh, just basically a plan from Team Cyrus. Let's listen to a little bit of your interview. Uh, we've got a few sound bites here, Jen. And this is the part I believe you guys ask, uh, ask what about growing up in this transformation? Let's listen to that. It's just a part of where I am in my life right now. It's because no one ever wants to see somebody grow up. It's like when Hillary Duff started growing up off the Disney Channel. Everyone thought she was anorexic and she did this and this and this. It's just because she goes up. She doesn't look like a 12-year-old anymore. Year old anymore. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing. And I'm not going to get up there and I'm not going to, like, go to go around when that is clearly not what my song is about. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's not going to doty do around anymore. Obviously, she's not with the fishnets and the girl-on-girl -girl kissing on stage. Let's take a quick break. We'll get everybody's response coming out of that. want to hear from you. Call us 1-877-TELL-HLM. At Ditech, we've been making home... Great story there. All right, we're coming back with more on Miley Cyrus. I, again, let, let's look at the performance uh, a little bit. This performance on the show, well, th actually, this is her latest video, uh, Can't Be Tamed. And there she is in a birdcage. She's got the fishnets working. I mean, again, it's Hannah Montana, cute teen star, to this. I think it's been too fast. What do you think? Call us 1-877-TELL-HLN. Merle is with us, Pennsylvania. Merle, your thoughts here? Yes, uh, I think that what she's doing, she's going sort of like from Britney Spears to trash. I mean, come on, she's too young for this from Brit like Britney Spears. Good girl gone trashy girl. That's what's happening. All right, Merle, thanks for the call. She's only 17. Let's show Britney Spears one of the, her more shocking slash provocative moments. Uh, Britney Spears and the kiss with Madonna at the MTV uh, Music Awards. That was a few years ago. And, and Miley Cyrus, uh, when talking about being compared to Britney, she thinks that's a compliment. Uh, Jen Hobby, do you think she's going to follow in Britney's footsteps? 
Oh, absolutely. This is just the beginning. If you think that this is a more wow. sexy Miley, I think this is just the start of it all. You know, she started with the Vanity Fair, yep. uh, you know, photo shoot. She also was just caught on tape doing the lap dance with her movie producer. I mean, this is really just the beginning for Miley Cyrus. I mean, I think that she's coming out. Um, I think it's all very calculated that she wants to be provocative. She's also a born entertainer. She's been raised in show business. And as we know, shocking things get all of us to talk about her yep. and that sells albums it does and well, I mean, we're looking that, at the vanity me, that's fair just, that's just shocking right to think that this is the beginning of what could be a very long path i mean i just i don't think that's necessary and i don't necessarily think that's good i mean you said just a moment ago jen that that this was her transformation to being a woman but there are a lot of people who transform to womanhood without wearing fishnet hole tights with holes <laughs> in them and and performing provocatively i don't think you have to go that way to get to the place where she is trying to be. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break. Want to hear from you? Call us on this one. 1-877-TELL-HLN's the number. There are Miley Cyrus at the uh, Nickelodeon Teen Choice Awards to the, her song Party in the USE. She's doing a, basically a pole dance on what was an ice cream truck. Uh, again, that seems to be part of this transformation at 15. She's being photographed by Vanity Fair, nothing but a bed sheet, then this. And now we're up to uh, her in a birdcage, fishnets, uh, doing girl on girl kisses uh, on the show uh, Britain's Got Talent. Uh, we have our experts with us. We're taking your calls. One eight seven seven tell HLN. Jen Hobby's with us. Co-host the Burt Show Q one hundred here in Atlanta. Uh, Jen, let's listen to a little bit more. Where I think you guys flat out asked her, Are "You trying to shock people or not?" Let's listen to her answer to that. I don't do anything as shock value. People always think that you know, even in a tame video, it's for shock value. It's not. It's just that it's not. It's written for someone my age. If you go to a high school, no one is, like, singing about, like, happiness and rainbows and butterflies all the time. Jen, are we supposed to believe that? This is all about shock value, isn't it? I think it absolutely is about shock value. And she says that high schoolers aren't all about rainbows and butterflies, which is true. So she is a reflection of her generation. But I do think that she's doing this intentionally to shock everyone, to get everybody to talk about her. And I think that's why it's important for folks like Renee to talk to the parents. I mean, parents have got to know what their kids are watching and who their idols are. But but here's the thing. Um, Miley Cyrus should hear of a, a, of a little-known singer named Taylor Swift who mm. does actually <laughs> talk about the things about sweetness and light and all that stuff and you don't see her out there gyrating and carrying on and yet she seems to be selling albums I you know I just don't think that you need to carry on the way Miley Cyrus is I wonder if yeah. she's gonna regret the path that she is taking she's gonna if she wants to be in it to win it she wants to be in it for the long haul she might want to you know slow down just a little bit yeah back there, it seems bit. to be a a slower, more methodical, a classier approach to maturing and becoming more sexy. Let me read a couple of uh, Facebooks that we got. Courtney writes, they have to remember the eight and nine year olds who watch them and idolize them. Valerie writes, I absolutely hate that my five year old idolizes her. I'll, I want to get both your guys' takes on this one real quick. Jen, does Miley Cyrus realize that still her fan base is those young girls who are going to watch her do this? Does she have any thought of that? I think she realizes it and is really ready to move past it, Mike. I do. I think she is ready for an older audience. She wants to grow with her fans. Regardless of having younger fans now, she's not going to stay young and wait for them. She is has already grown up. So the heck but, with them. Yeah, but, I think but, so. but the thing is, I think you're right, Jen. It is up to us, the parents, to make sure yeah. that 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 our kids know that this is not the nice, sweet Miley Hannah right. Montana persona anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Real quick, Iris is with us in Texas. Iris, go ahead. Hello. Hey, Iris, you're up. Oh, hi. Yes, I'd like to give my opinion on the Miley Cyrus thing. You go ahead. I'm 27. Like, I totally support everything that um, that she does, and I just think so the, that the fishnet. It's not too much for you, Iris. It's not too much too soon. What was that? Is it the fishnets and this whole uh, shock stuff? Not too much too soon here. No. No. Nope. It's not. I support 
support her completely. I think Jenny's let her do her thing and okay. um, just let her go on with her career. She's not a little girl no more. She's growing up. All right. She's 17. Yeah, she's, she's 17. only 17. Good point. Iris, oh. the voice of the teens out there. All right. Allegedly. She's allegedly yeah, right. 17. <laughs> <laughs> Jen Renee, guys, thanks so much. And uh, thank you for thank watching. You. Uh, I'm Michael Lawrence. You can catch Prime News every day starting at 6 Eastern. Have a great weekend. Medicare.